Hey, this is Andrew from Relevance AI. Today, we're just gonna go through some integrations on the platform, and we're gonna figure out what integrations are. So, an integration is any of these things over here. We have a lot of them. You can look over here, we have, we have so many. So many, we, this, is only, this, is only, this is only the A's. And then if we go down, we can get to the B's. But we have a lot of them. And what they do is they give your workforces, your agents, and your tools the ability to act to the outside world. So how it shows up in your workforce is if you open up a workforce here and we try to try to build a thing, go to trigger and all of these up here, these trigger integrations, um, these are, these are the integrations. And what these do is, uh, whenever a certain condition happens, then it's going to ask this workforce over here to go ahead and start a task. So these two over here, Microsoft Outlook and Google Mail, uh, these are going to be integrations that whenever you get an email, a thing is going to start. Google Calendar is if some sort of event is happening, a thing will start. Salesforce and HubSpot is um, depending on what you set the trigger as. But usually it's like, oh, you have a new guy that came into your into your CRM, a new prospect that you want to you wanna reach out to. As soon as they come in, trigger the workforce. Uh, for the webhook, it's an API call. So when you uh, when you put this, like you take this and you put it in there, um, it triggers an API call, and you you can essentially call this workforce to start. There's also one last one. There's this recurring schedule one. So this can be like every hour or every day or every week, every month, you get the gist, um, something happens. And you can call the workforce to start. There's also these premium ones and also these ones that are coming soon. But at the moment, like, even though we only have these, the webhook over here makes it near um, agnostic. You can, there's anything that can call a webhook can call the workforce. So that's, that's what we have going on here. In terms of agents, if we go, we go and pick, pick one of our agents over here. Uh, we can see that also in our triggers, we also have the same assortment of triggers here, generally also the same functions in what they do. You have your email ones, your calendar, your CRMs, your recurring schedule, your webhook, Zapier and API that you can just have it, um, have it trigger an agent task whenever they're integrated in here. Now, the really cool thing is when you get to tools. So if you get to, if you get to tools over here, um, you can see this was originally a Google, a Google Sheets tool. You can have a, we have Google Sheets integrations to add, um, add rows, add content into Google Sheets. So it doesn't, it doesn't really matter whether, um, whether your business stack is built on, whether it's like Salesforce or HubSpot, we're very, we're very, uh, software agnostic, I guess. And even if your business is built on like Google Sheets, we also support that. So if you go over here and we go into like Google, we have everything in the Google, Google suite. Um, there's like over 10,000 of these from all the different, all the different integrations. So if we go over here, all these integrations here, there's like over 2000 of these and we can just keep going down, loading more. You can like sit here for a good 15 minutes and just scroll down and they'll, they'll just keep finding more and more integrations that you can, you can um, connect uh, to your business stack and let you communicate to relevance AI. So here we have all the Google, all the Google integrations. You can also just keep scrolling down here for a while. And it's pretty much every application in the Google suite. 
that um, we have over here. We go into Microsoft. We also have it over here as well. So all of these uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft applications, these are here. So pretty much the whole of Office 365 is here. And yeah, one of my one of my favorites that I use personally is this this Motion API call over here. Um, I let it manage my calendar, and it can it gives me notifications on um, what I'm supposed to be doing at a certain time. So there's also I think a there's a Pushcut one. So Pushcut is an application that lets um, lets you send notifications to your phone. So I've also been able to give Relevance AI the ability to send notifications to my phone through the, this push cut API over here. It's really cool, which means I've been able to set up an agent that reads my calendar and knows what I'm supposed to do, supposed to be doing. And because it knows what I'm supposed to be doing, it can then notify me, make sure that I'm doing the thing. So that's really cool. Um, over here, we also have, this is another tool. We have a Canva API, so we can also do um, anything in the uh, Canva API docs. You can connect this to your, to your Canva and start doing stuff there. Uh, we also have, uh, this is just a thing to create a presentation. So this is um, an example from the Google Slides API. And you can just create presentations really quickly. This over here is another example of a different integration. So this is an integration with Appify. Uh, we're using this um, similar web scraper and we're just able to, to take anything, any of the um, actors available on Appify and build them into our tools for even more integration possibility. And yeah. That's just a small handful of the integrations available to you in Relevance AI. As you can see here, there is a considerable amount of them. And yeah, regardless of whatever your business stack is built on, we're probably sure to have a thing or two for you. Maybe even your whole business stack is able to be built on this. And yeah, go ahead and explore it. There's certainly no shortage of things to go and see. And the yeah, possibilities are endless. Go and build something. Go. See you. Bye.